right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Can you all see? Can you all hear? How we doing? On this fine Wednesday evening. Hopefully well. Woo! Hi, hi. How's everybody doing? We're all good? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited to get back into playing Mass Effect Codex Reader and occasionally playing the game. Hey, chat, what's up? Exploring the galaxy, taking names is exactly right. We were on the Citadel almost, no, we were on the Citadel the entire time uh, in the last game, and we ended with a speech from Commander Shepard as we go out into the galaxy to find more clues and hunt down our now ex-Spectre enemy. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Let us resume. Ooh. I'm ready, I'm ready. So the last two times, or three times I've done it, I've gone directional pad left on this screen. I think I'm going to try directional pad right, see if it actually takes me right. Ready? Damn, it doesn't work. Illusion shattered. There is no control. There's only chaos. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Uh, Mines Age, subscribe with Prime, thank you. Fletcher Knight, subscribe with Prime, thank you very much, guys. And anybody that I've missed, thank you. Uh, Alright, so... We're on the Normandy, and we are about ready. I gotta go, okay, first things first, I gotta go talk to some people, see what they're thinking, what their thoughts and feelings are, especially my new party commanders. Let's go talk to Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side, man. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. You're not wrong. Let's investigate. Aliens on the ship. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Morlon gifted five tiers. Thank you. Uh, five tier subs. Thank you very much. And Jimrick, thank you very much. Warhouse bird guys holy crap thank you so much we got bits from king ace and camera to gate camera tagius awesome guys thank you so much all right so he has a problem with the non-humans personal questions how did you end up assigned to the normandy i signed up with the alliance as a navigator right out of school following in my grandfather's footsteps i guess my first posting was on the asian Corps. Agile. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. Mm -hmm. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. Mm. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many mm. ships He definitely lost. enjoyed killing aliens there, didn't he? How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Okay. Carry on, Presley. Oh, that's what Presley has yes, to say. Yes, sir. Paragon! Let's see where people are on the ship. Where do they end up at? Go over this way. I think Ashley is usually around here, but I don't see her. Caden, though. Caden's over here. Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Okay. Tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. Mm, gotcha. We were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could. Okay. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Good information. Uh, this is my first time going through Mass Effect ever, so 
The Legendary Edition is my first time. Ooh, Codex. The Pilgrimage, I know about that. Crew considerations. Okay. Hot bunking. Assigned to different watches, they share a bunk. Nice. I hope I share it with Rex. Uh, frigates. Informational frigates. Let's see if what they got in the primary here. Non castle the races. The, the, in the early 2160s, the Alliance began aggressive colonization of worlds in the Skillian Verge. Much to the dismay of the Batarians, who have been developing the region for several decades. In 2171, the Batarians petitioned the Council to declare the Verge a zone of Batarian interest. Hmm. The Council refused, however, declaring unsettled worlds in the region open to human colonization. In protest, the Batarians closed their Citadel Embassy and severed official diplomatic relations with the Council, effectively becoming a rogue state. Okay. They instigated a proxy war in the Verge by funneling money and weapons to criminal organizations urging them to strike at human colonies. Hostilities peaked with the Skillian Blitz of 2176, mm -hmm. an attack on the human capital of Elysium That's what by batarian he was just talking about. and slavers. In 2178, the Alliance retaliated with a crushing assault on the moon of Torfin, long used as a staging base by batarian backed criminals. In the aftermath, the Batarians retreated okay. into their own systems. So we won't see any Batarians on the Citadel, Citadel but we might see them out in space. Gotcha. Pharos is a... Noveria is a... Actually... Pharos is a habitable world in the Attican Beta Cluster. Two-thirds of the habitable surface is covered with the ruins of a crumbling protein... Yeah, I've seen that Noveria one. is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Noveria Development Corporation Holding Company. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Noveria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Uh as Noveria is technically not part of mm. Citadel space and therefore exempt from That'll Council be fun law. To go to. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Noveria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. That'll be fun. There are between two and four hundred billion stars in the galaxy, and less than one percent of them have ever been visited or less had their 1%. systems properly surveyed. Humanity's early expansion into the Attican Traverse was haphazard, a desperate race to claim habitable planets where populations can be economically settled. Mm -hmm. Ignored in the wake of this land grab were thousands of less hospitable worlds, each potentially rich with industrial resources. That makes sense. The wealth of entire solar systems lies untapped, waiting for corporate survey teams or independent pioneers to discover and exploit them. However, this is not an easy task. In addition to the environmental hazards, the fact that uncharted worlds are largely ignored makes them popular bases for criminals, revolutionaries, cults, and others who wish to remain unnoticed yeah. by galactic society. Man, with so much, like, unexplored space, the idea of this, this whole new frontier opening with not an infinite amount of stuff to explore, but such a high amount of stuff to explore, it's like almost never-ending, at least for a bunch of generations. It's interesting. Technology, Bionics, computers. an artificial intelligence, is a self-aware computing yeah. system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Let me go through these a little quicker. Just Combat kind of get to stuff smaller. All arms. modern infantry weapons. Okay, we'll be good for now. Just want to make sure I'm keeping up on some of the more important stuff. But there's nothing back here, so we talked to Caden. And let's...
let's see, maybe off here, do we have anybody? The doctor, anything new from the doctor? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe, too secure. Uh, I Flash will be out after the stream, guys. With exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? It's really dark Sometimes I think about opening Shepard a private here. practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance mm. now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Hmm. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Mm -hmm. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. I think I've, have I heard this before. The L2. It's because he has, uh, yeah, I think I have heard it before. Actually. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. This is the lab slash storage slash med clinic. Over here. Caden's that way. This is what, the captain's quarters back here? Personnel manual. Codex. What codex did I get? Divided small between Navy and ground soldiers. Okay, this is the rank class. Fleet Admiral being the highest. Okay. So I'm both a Spectre and a member of the Alliance here. Rognor, thank you very much for the uh, the follow. And guys, the hype train, thank you very much. Let's go down. Garrus! What's up, buddy? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAT. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAT, you're very vital. It's the mm -hmm. damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Mm, interesting, But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. Would agree with that. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate it. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Me too. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way of change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not bad. Got it? I wasn't trying to. <sighs> I understand. Well, I mean, he's definitely, uh, Rex. I mean, he's definitely going to be able to do things his way a little bit more here with the Spectre, but he's got to follow my commands, too. I am the commander of the ship. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Yes, Rex. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> that's a 
That's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. I feel like I'm antagonizing so everybody. We're infected with a genetic mutation. An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Mm. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Thanks, Rogner. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. They made it. It's a man of few words. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth. <sighs> Most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Man, when I first read about this in the Codex, I thought that it just meant they couldn't conceive. Not that they can conceive and thousands die. That's absolutely terrible. Maybe we can help find a cure out there somewhere. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Mm. Alright. So long, Rex. Shepard. The rare females able to carry children to term became prizes the Krogan warlords fought brutal battles over. Jesus. So it's not a matter of like every time they have a pregnancy there's a chance that it could survive. It's that certain individuals have the ability to do it. That's crazy. Sad. Go down here to the engines, I think. Who's back in the engines? Tolly's over here. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being well, a quarry. It has to, Shepard. That's all they live on. The key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and 
second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels are <laughs> all the way back to our original <coughs> flight from the end. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Interesting. Can you get pilgrimage? I think I've talked to her about those things, so we'll go ahead and say I goodbye. Should. See you later. All right, Tally. Hey, Commander. You know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. <laughs> I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Oh, that's nice. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. Tantalus. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. So we can outrun people, probably. That's nice. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Tokyo. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work, exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. Hmm. No emissions to give away our location. Okay. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. Yeah. After our silent running and they overheat. So it'd be like our own catching your car exhaust so it doesn't emit heat, I guess. There's no way for anyone to detect us. A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels space rely is on scanners. Pretty big. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Well, that gives us away. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture mm -hmm. the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short range missions, our stealth systems are amazing. Okay. And we've got the only one. Okay. Carry on, Adams. Adams. I leveled up! Yay! I love leveling up from talking so much. Hey Shepard. Do you need Alright, so I, I guess there is new stuff each time I talk, so I will do that. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla. Yeah. And each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Okay. What kind of freedoms? I mean, well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If okay. our population grows too much, it would strain our resources that to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. Hmm. In extreme cases of population like decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. Conclave must be their leadership. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. 
Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed gotcha. by martial law. So it's like little towns most on a ship, I guess. are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. Mm -hmm. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admirals. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. <laughs> wow. It's a safeguard that served us well. It's good checks and balances, I guess. centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Four times. Geth. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. It's the same amount of time they've been using some of those origins. ships. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Hmm. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer yeah, to true AI that. status. That was a mistake. I want to say that was a mistake. Because I know it's illegal. You had to know it would blow up in your face, <laughs> Shepard. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, I didn't want to a Geth keep being began used. to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? Yeah, that's what is my AI. Purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to I could have done that violence. smarter. It does sound like they defended themselves, like you created them. They felt that, I don't know. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. I can blame them for making zombies. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Vale. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. It's interesting, in all the space and planets and stuff, that they haven't, like, found a new world that might be unsettled or something, but, I mean, their way right now seems to be working. Anything new about the know more about the Pilgrim. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the Makes fleet. Makes sense. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. 
If the gift is accepted, we are welcome into the crew. Hmm. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? And that doesn't happen often. Most Sounds captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. Like it's not basket. the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Uh, that's it. I should go. See you later. Got some more codex stuff. Primary. Faster than light drive, larger warships are generally classified in one. The Normandy is a prototype starship developed by the Human Systems Alliance with the assistance of the Citadel Council. It is optimized for scouting and reconnaissance missions in unstable regions using state of the art stealth technology. I kind of skimmed through that one. It seems like it was just kind of telling me a little of the information I'd already heard, so. We got some stuff to do. Uh, actually, I should level up, I assume, right? I got four points. Let's see what we could be doing here. Could unlock sniper rifles, but I don't know if I really even want him to do that right now. Equip heavy armor is, would be nice. I don't have any heavy armor. But that might be good. And then maybe jump into Spectre trading. I'm not really sure. Um, in terms of, like, uh, chat interaction, I generally will not be looking over too much, just, like, when story stuff is happening. But when it's stuff like this, I like to look over and see what people uh, uh, think. So, like, when it comes to leveling up, and then maybe whenever it's forming parties for different missions, I probably will ask for some help. So, anyway. Uh, you will have heavy armor. So maybe I'll go for heavy armor and then uh, maybe some specter training, I would assume. With some assault training. Adrenaline burst, fitness. So let's throw one on combat armor. It's just going to give us the ability to do heavy armor. And then let's do some assault training and get up to adrenaline bursts. I like that idea. Um, yeah. And then we'll uh, level up our guys as we go, too. Alright, where is Ashley? Where's she at? She's around here somewhere. Is she up on the bridge up here? Maybe she's in that one room up here that I didn't visit, I think. Which is like back here. Is Ashley back here? Nope, no one's back here. This is like a meeting room. I'm gonna guess there'll be like meeting cutscenes or something. Oh, is she in the garage? I gotta go all the way back down. Blah! I didn't see her. I didn't check. Oh, she's back here. I guess I was looking for her armor, but she's not wearing her armor. Commander? Can we talk? How are you doing? Goodbye. How are you doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you got there sooner, Commander. Right. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... We came as soon as we got the distress call. Even so the last mission, they're just talking about Eden Prime. We're not talking about the you Citadel at all. You did the best you could, Commander. It's my fault. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. 
They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. What is can we talk? Can we talk sounds like a romantic thing. Eh, I don't really, I don't know. Do I want to do can we talk? Hmm. We'll see. Uh, Captain Cole, I'm sorry I missed a message that you had sent or whatever. Uh, uh, sorry. Can't find it. It's hard for me to keep up with chat a lot sometimes. Sorry about that. Uh, can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Can we talk? Uh, no. Ah, you're dismissed. So I was saving face. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. All right. Um, I don't got much money. I got four thousand eight hundred and twenty bucks. I would love some of this heavy armor, but it is expensive. So, I don't know. I won't buy anything right now. I'll wait until I get out of the galaxy and get some money. Alrighty, um, so in choosing where to go, we gotta go to the bridge. And I'm assuming we go up to this map area here. Oh, more codex. Secondary. Government. Migrant fleet. Okay. I don't see anything else. Alright. Open the map. We're at the Citadel. We're gonna zoom out. Zoom out. All right. Wow. Zoom out. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> Zoom out. Ah, oh, I zoomed out too far. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Zoom out. Zoom out. This is the Serpent Nebula. So the Citadel is in the Serpent Nebula. We are wanting to go. So it was these two places and this place. I think this place here is where we want to go. The Artemis. Because this is where Big Blue Teddy Lady's daughter is at. That's where I think I wanted to go. So there's also just a random asteroid. Maybe we stop up at the asteroid before going to the dig site. Or is this a matter of, like, you know, because right now, I need to jump to that asteroid to there, to there, to get there. Or do I go to the, I don't know. What do you guys think? Nope. <laughs> okay. I might, I, my first thought was uh, the dig site. Look at these all, all these other galaxies. This map is so cool. Asteroid is DLC. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Let's go here. Ooh, um, where do I go? Sparta, Snossus, Athens, Maestad. Well, I don't know which one to go to. Let's go to Athens. Sounds like a nice, fun place. Ooh, 
we go. Leaving the Citadel. Nice. Into the mass relay. Stuff, man. It's so big. All right, let's go to Salamis. Oh, okay. So these are you, you can't go to all of these places. Some of the stuff you just can do a drive-by visit. Geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit. Little else is known about it. due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the genetic energetic star Athens. Okay, so Athens was the star, and then there's planets around the star. So not all planets are going to be useful in every system. Okay. Uh, the next one is Protus. Oh, wait, hold on. There was a survey button? Oh, there's no survey button for, for this one. There's a survey button for the next one, though. Okay, 90% oceanic cover, incredible heat, 100% humidity, fuck. What does survey mean? Huh, a large amount of free oxygen. Okay, I'm assuming I get experience or something for that maybe? This is the next planet. This is traces of sodium. Okay, I get it now. I was like, oh man, there's so much to go for, but I get it now. We can survey here. Helium, so let's survey. Large concentration of helium-3. Okay, helium-3 is the fuel, I think, right, that we use? Alright, we surveyed it. Might not even be able to go into anything in this system. Alright, yeah, okay. Customer examination by unmanned probe. It is a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Uh, its surface is mainly composed of tin. Deposits. Iceberg crater, okay. Alright. Abandoned base on its moon, the recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. Interesting. Okay, well that was uh, the system of Athens. Which is where we're at right now, I guess that's what that means. So, Mace Dawn. Let's go there. That's cool. You can land here. Level one pressure hazard. I don't know if I want to land here yet. I need to consult. I was kind of hoping there would be like a wayfinder that tells me what one is like for a specific mission, or do I just need to consult my journal, I guess? A signal from the planet's surface? It looks like an automated distress beacon. Uh Okay. I mean there's a distress beacon, we should help. I think. Let's, let's do it. Oh 
Oh, who do I take? Who do I take? Who do I take? I'm going to take... Uh, Rex and... Tali. I think that's okay. Or is there... See, I don't. I definitely don't want any spoiler stuff. But if there's ever a time where it's like, no, you should take this person to one place, I definitely want to know that. But I kind of want to maybe with Rex and Tali. Let's try that one for now. Also, it might not matter, I, I suppose, as well. But let's do it. Whoa. Whoa! I thought we would land! Okay. Oh. You can drive in this game? I'm like the Curiosity on Mars. Well, there's asteroids falling. Okay, there's something over here. I can jump! I can jump! What's this? Are you in distress? Do you need help? Got it. I can get out! I don't think I can interact with this thing. Two question marks and a pile of rocks. Let's go look at the pile of rocks. It's called debris. Also, we should probably level up our squad. Rex has 12 points, buddy. You can get stasis, advanced warp, assault rifles, I feel like maybe unlocking shotguns for him might be good. He might be good with the shotgun. Uh, fitness to get immunity. That seems good. Okay, I like that. Maybe get him up so he can unlock shotguns and start giving him shotguns, I would say. It might be a good one. Um, Krogan Battlemaster, just to help out a bunch of stuff. Let's do, like, two, maybe. Rifle. We can use... Let's get to unlock shotguns for him. And then let's put two in... Let's just finish out Krogan Battlemaster. Unless I want to upgrade shotguns. You know what? Let's just use these two to finish out Krogan Battlemaster. Why not? Tally! She gets four points. <clears throat> I wonder, what is Tally good with? I think she's probably good with pistols, and then she has all of her other stuff. Damping. Maybe a damping thing. Uh, which increases tech resistance, increases shield capacity by 60. She has a first aid uh, thing here. Let's give her two here, and let's give her... This unlocks first aid. First aid might be good. Maybe damping. 
Maybe electronics too, because I'm sure I'll run into a bunch of stuff there. A lot of different options. Uh, I'm going to open up. I'm going to put it into a one and two electronics and one and two decryption. We're getting close on being maxed out. Uh, here. Let's do that. Why not? We'll go ahead and give ourselves a good old save. And we have a waypoint, which is this direction. Can we just go anywhere? Alright. I wonder how steep this can go. Mm, not too bad. Something up here. What is up here? What is you? What is this? Survey. Survey mineral. That, that. Mineral survey. I have successfully surveyed a deposit of lithium. Oh, I got like 500 bucks from that. Okay, that's nice. Surveyed. All right, all right, we're making our way up. We're making our way up. Okay. Whatever we're looking for is down this way somewhere. Here! What's this? Crash probe. Salvage. Skill too low. Fuck! Fuck me! Dang it, Tally! Why didn't you tell me I should have done this? Um, map. We have... I don't know which one the, uh... I don't know the distress signal's coming from, so we'll go here first, I guess? This thing going that I'm going to right now is that's is that what I just came from? Is that what the circle means? Is that it's been surveyed? I think that's what it means. I just came from that. Whee! Whee! Holy shit! Oh my god! Can you destroy yourself on the Mako if I like roll over or something? be coming up on it. Oh, okay, here we go. Is this a grave? What is this? Mummified. Recover artifact. Captain Mylon's identif identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Area map. Captain Mylon.
Oh, okay. So ID tags, I got one of three. Turian emblems. Materials. Hostile takeover. Missing researchers. There's a lot of cool stuff to do, it seems like. Hydra system and the Agnos cluster and investigate. A lot of stuff to do, okay. Geological survey. All right, so that's just, I can find deposits of stuff. Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, that was the place, so we need to now go here. Ooh, uh, guys, I'll be right back. Someone is at the door. I think I got a treat stream. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I think I got a treat stream. Jen is getting it for me. Debaba. So, awesome. She can put it right there when it comes in. So we're uh, going to be heading this direction towards what I imagine is the source of the, um, the distress signal. All right. Awesome. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Thank you. No problem. All right. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a pepperoni pizza. Uh, and thanks to everybody, uh, or any, uh, whoever sent that. I'm not really sure who did. I'll have to check my email, I guess. But awesome. Pepperoni pizza. We will have a slice. Awesome. Ooh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. You want a piece? Yeah, thank you. All right, we gotta detect the source of this distress signal. Ah, ah, okay, we're good, we're okay. So it would seem that whoever has surveyed this planet did not make roads. Ooh, okay. What's going on down here? Okay, let's see. Just making sure it's not an ambush or something. That is a bunch of dead people. Oh my god! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> what is happening, y'all? Getting Did my ship blow up.
I'm glad pizza was here. Oh, man. Do I still need to go do this stuff, or have I already done it? I didn't save. I should probably save before shit happens. I probably have to go and do that stuff again, don't I? Alright, let's go fucking survey these rocks. So, I have, um, like, an ex an explosive, I have, like, uh, bullets. Does the Mako cause any damage if it runs into things, or does it only get damaged? Do I have to get out of the ship to do this? I think so. I remember now, we can't do anything about that one. I gotta go up to here to find this guy's dead body. On the dead body, I gotta. I really gotta save way more often than I am. Recover this artifact. I need recovered. I think I still need to. Uh, I have to re. I think I have to re-level my guys, too. No! Oh! This is what I get for trying to look by myself. Ah! Okay. Um, let's go to the map. <laughs> it is this direction. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna fight this fucking thing. Get it right. No surprises this time. We used to fight you. All right, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna save. Stop moving. Mm. 
Well, at least I saved right here, so we should be good. Fantastic game. What's happening? I'm repairing though. It's got the best of aims. I'm pressing triangle, dick. Do it. Looks like these men were under Admiral Cohen's command. You want to know what happened to them? Radioactive rounds. Can we turn off a oh, medical kit? Can we turn off the beacon? So this doesn't happen to others? Or does it not matter? Destroy the beacon? Die, beacon! I don't think you can. Hmm.
Doesn't seem to work. I just don't want others to fall into this trap. Alright, well. We did it. Um. Okay, they're leveled up still, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and hit another save button. Um, and I guess we're done here, because that was the only real thing. Do I need to, uh... Return to Normandy. I think that's pretty much everything. I don't know if I want to do any more... more exploring or not. Okay, let's go to map and then hit return to Normandy. Let's leave this place. It is a silly one. Third orbit. The survey. Hydrogen. Um. Oh no, this is third orbit. Trace atmosphere and ammonia. Let's go this one out here. Survey. Rare element. I think that's all the planets in this one. So that was Sparta. Let's go to Gnosis. I meant to go. I need to, you know what I really need to do? I need to go out and look at my journal to make sure I'm going to the right spot. Journal. Alright. Here. Oh, you just gotta explore all the worlds to find her. They don't even tell you where she is. Okay. I... Explore us land. Let's take Garrus and Polly. Try that one. some strange readings really strange like off the damn charts it looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone is this a door I guess I don't need to wear a helmet okay I can't get in Look at the map. Damn, okay. I guess I gotta do some driving.
Well, I'm going to guess we don't go in the lava. Siren ship? Fuck you! I don't know what is on the map up here, but it seems important. Saving content. Shit's too slow. All right. <clears throat> what she said, don't go down the front door. I think there's the front door is the only way to go. Blow this shit up? I don't think I can. Can we get out? supposed to do. I feel like I'm fucking stuck as hell now. Huh? I don't think I can get in there. Maybe we have to go in on foot. Huh? Am I just not supposed to go this way? It feels so easy to go that way. I'm not gonna do it. So if I go back, it looks like there might be a way around. What the hell happened up there? Is that like a lava river? Yeah, juggernaut. Oh shit! Ah! Oh no, 
I can't. Still shooting. You. And you. I know what I'm looking for. Ah! I know what I was looking for there. Death. So we can go through there now, but what's this way? Don't want to miss anything. Let's drive over. We're lazy. Like nothing. Good job, team. Two doors open. Still got the map. So the one back there was the door that we got stuck on, so we can go forward from here. Okay. Right? Yes. Save and pizza. Oopsie. I'm slightly concerned about driving into the lava while fighting. Just slightly.
Fuck you! guys work. Ah. Definitely not good. and stuff. over here that I need to be do I need to like be trying to look out for collectibles or crates or boxes or anything Guessing it's on foot from here. I know that I'm uh, not great at combat, guys. Lost shields. Mm. 
sniper. Where's Garrus? There he is. Alright, I gotta learn these systems way better. So I'm not like looting bodies or anything as I do these, I just kill and get stuff. Well, this seems big and important. Nice. Jesus. I seem woefully unprepared for this. going They're so quick
Oh, never mind. She's down again. Seems okay. Seems like everything has just stopped. I think I've mind tricked them into thinking I don't, I'm not here. Yeah, alright, well, we've done it, everybody. We did it! I need to learn how to play the game more. I'm using the Banshee tool right now. I don't feel great about that fight, but I don't feel terrible either. Is Tali okay? Where's Tali? Ah! Good job, man. That was a tough one. That's certainly the toughest fight that we've been in. Where the fuck am I going? Consult the map! This was the mining camp. There seems to be some type of... Oh, this doorway over here. They are doors! what that fight did not fill me with confidence in that I'm gonna be good at this game
where? I haven't been using any of that stuff. I use it at the very, very, very end. <laughs> Try to use that more. Do they use their skills passively? Do I actively have to do that? Seemed very calm about that. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. But when I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. That's scary. Out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan. Krogan. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. I can't switch out my guys in the middle of a mission, right? I have to go all the way back out. I assume. On me. Stuck. That shotgun seems pretty nice. That sniper rifle seems pretty nice. High caliber barrel three. I like those. 
I'm not sure what weapons these guys do the best, but um, I've been using my sniper rifle a lot. I don't know if I want to like use it all the time, but hmm, where to go? Do you automatically upgrade it? We'll look at that stuff later. We're in the middle of a mission. Alright, well, there's a thing over here, something about a inner security key or code. I don't know. Oh, I guess just talk with her on this side now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Wait, Commander. Can we trust her? Her mother's working with Sarah. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Venezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Hmm. I can't believe her. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Yeah. Couldn't have got her a box or something? Back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Venezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must be the fuck out of here. Event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure on the double, away. mister. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. What's happening? Oh, are we fighting? There's that Krogan! Oh shit, he looks cool! Fuck! you didn't notice this place is falling apart exhilarating isn't it thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us had the doctor over whatever it is you want you are not getting it from me she'll stay with us thanks not an option Saren wants her and he always gets what he wants kill them spare the asari if you can not doesn't matter thought he always gets what he wants Kill the battle master! 
he was down. Oh no! <laughs> I thought he died. What happened? Jumped at me. Damn. Alright. So we start. He's down. He's not. He wasn't down. Damn it. Alright, I gotta be smarter. I gotta use overkill. Maybe a better shield. He died. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Okay. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. Eh. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It eases the tension. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. Mm -hmm. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Um... They were killed by the Reapers, right? Wait, 50 years?! How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. 
I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. Mm -hmm. This cycle began long before them. Hmm. I wonder if it's like the Matrix and it just keeps happening. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. <clears throat> the galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. Okay. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out I why. feel like the secret is with the bugs at the citadel. We gotta figure out what's going on with the keepers. You figure out that, you figure out everything. That makes sense. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused. Unclear. It was kind of unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conjurer. Uh, actually, course, it's interesting. Right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off. Is she the final party along. member? Thank I know that a member of her species Saren might come after can be partied. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later yeah. on. Yeah. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? I think we're good. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. <coughs> Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Yep. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. 
We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. All right. Codex 41 XP. All right, let's go uh let's talk to Presley. Yes, Commander. Okay, I got Presley. Carry on, Presley. Do I yes, talk sir. to everybody after each mission or nah? I'm at least going to go down to the medical area, see if I can talk to our new member. And I need to consult the codex. Assuming she is in here. Oh, no, the doctor's in here. Where's she at? Yes, yes Commander. Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. There she is. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected How old is the matriarch? me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. Benezia. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. I wonder. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Don't try to study me! Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must By think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Venezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Hmm. 
I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for okay. us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting. The bad options are, like, so bad. <laughs> I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding. It's interesting. They don't. They only have one gender, but they kind of go with the female as their pronoun. Hmm. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. I mean, the thing is, at least like with a human and Asari, is that their lifespans are so different, too. Huh. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it. That doesn't make any sense, Shepard. If Shepherd. we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left I our own. I don't know why I bothered to pick that side. Our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Mm. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Hmm. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. A lot of information. But she's in our party now, and I do kind of feel like we can trust her. She seems innocent enough. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? 
Malenko. When it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Lot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock for the kids they hauled in for the brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetix was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school. Next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the bits. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Oh, you're not a whiner, car signs. I've got my past squared away. Alright. Learned a little more from Caden. Talk to Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten to the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought it was important. <laughs> I think I'd like to hear about it, just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging Rex about a job Sarah. out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. And that's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving to the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them, never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. Mm -hmm. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Volus. A big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's oh, no, the I time pressed the wrong talk. button. Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Oopsie. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Are you sure? 
your people really die? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Commander, we have a minute to talk. this duty related chief no sir well maybe i know things are different aboard the normandy but uh, i'm i'm concerned about the aliens mm -hmm. vicarian and rex with all due respect commander should they have full access to the ship they may not serve the alliance chief they're their ally at least as far as saren goes this is the most advanced ship in the alliance navy I think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their There's like way other the things you can do in that situation. How many bears are you seeing in space, lady? How many bears? You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the service garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. I never knew my family. I grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? Mainly, I wanted to serve, protect the Alliance, save lives, you know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian? I'll ask which chief. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? How are we doing? We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. Command, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. I do things right or don't do them at all. Hmm. Thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient, 
worried I'll become just like Sarah. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Alright. Let's go talk to Tally. I really, I mean, I... I can just read Codex and talk to everybody for hours. Oh. Hello, Shepard. She doesn't seem happy. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. Mm. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, it's probably used to 300 year old engines. Silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. <clears throat> I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, can't relate to her. Them. Like I grew up on a farm where it's dead quiet at night. Even living in Marietta, I feel like it's too loud. And that's nothing compared to a major city. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually, but we have to stop Saren first. Do we ever get to Otherwise, see what she looks like? I might not have a home to go back to. You can kind of see her eyes and nose, but I am interested. I should go. See you later. Most of the crew hangs out down here. I do need to talk to Joker. I haven't sp spoken to Joker yet. Uh, he is up the stairs. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, <laughs> pulled your boots out of the fire. <laughs> if we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. Seven weeks. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I have to go. Damn it! All right, see ya. I should not Commander. eat and try to Something click the right button. 
How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask him a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance. Okay, what's in your background? Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I've never seen Joker get up from his chair. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, yeah. and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Very dramatic. But I've learned to manage gotcha. my condition. Commander. He's like Mr. Glass. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Jeff Plus Moreau. I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. <laughs> One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Brolic syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what caused it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. I classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the world. Damn. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical the science the bones in the wound, like, member of society. pretty flexible still? You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Alright, Joker. Well, let's get into the galaxy map here. We got about 20 minutes left of stream, but we did uh, do one of our things here. Let's check out journal. Novira and Pharos are the two things that we're looking for. So, which one should we head for? Novira, Novara, or Pharos? Long ass missions. Well, we got about 20 minutes. Is there something else we want to work on, maybe? Oh man, look at all these different things here.
go to Pharos first. Zeus Hope Colony. Go back to the Citadel and hand in an assignment to, uh, from the Admiral. Could do that. Let's see. We do need to uh, check out the rest of this system, though. That's one, two, three, number four. Where is the fifth planet? Helium gas, nitrogen, surveyed. Uh, I th have I gone to every system here now? So I need to go turn that one in. Back at the Citadel. Uh, return to the Citadel Tower and inform the Admiral of their fate. Let's just do that. That sounds fun. Message. Commander Shepard, my name is Masana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Okay. Well, we can pick up that one, too. the Citadel. And we leave. How do we leave? Oh, you know what? I think it's up here. Isn't it? It's like towards where Joker is and then you go left. Let's take with us Lyra and Rex. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, Presley's in charge. Rear Admiral Mikhailovich. Rear Admiral Mikhailovich. Mikhailovich. Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. 
Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. <laughs> I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. Uh-huh. Oh, no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be well, long. I don't like this guy, I tell you that. Mm -hmm. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I have to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. It's a lot of money. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many Man, times they're to this goes guy? to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari. Torians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. Man, everyone you have sucks. anything else to say, Commander? <laughs> Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? <laughs> we need to kick ass. Man, I kind of want to say that. Can't do it. I'm not good enough. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Man, fuck you. <laughs> I get experience just looking at Normandy, huh? Over here? No. Wait, yep. You can, that's awesome. 40 experience just looking at something. Alright, let's find the Admiral. I believe he's in the Citadel Tower. Considering the diminished numbers of the Krogan Rex, I'm surprised that you are willing to fight and kill them. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> He's so fun. Commander Shepard? Yes. Kalisa bin seen in Al Jalani, Western Lynn News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Okay. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. 
With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Yep. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hmm. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Ooh, a lot of experience, a lot of money. Hells yeah. Alright, uh, Presidium. We'll go to Citadel Tower. Gotta find this Admiral. Is this guy over here, right? Yeah. No, I'm waiting for Commander, Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name, My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's nothing. My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. The Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. Nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay. Alrighty, turned in. What else do we need to do here? Emily Wong. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. This is the news I've got a lady, proposition right? for you. Since you helped me get information on Are the crime the syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack hmm. the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. 
traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on the terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Where does this bug need to go? Security? Go to C-Sec and plant a bug in the Citadel Traffic Control Center near the back of C-Sec. Okay. Gotcha. Who else do I need to talk to in here? Anyone? Rex is humming. Why are you humming? I've always wondered if the Turians release the general page on their own, or if the Council secretly encourages them. Hmm. Think of all the important decisions the Council has made right here. Trillions of lives hang on their every word and deed. It's all at stake. What you looking at? You seem suspicious. Those people are still on their date. This guy's green outfit is awesome, by the way. No, and I'll thank you to keep me out of it. Gay Roth. I'm on a break. The Roth. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. What's in this for me? Uh, I, don't know I can't afford that. to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay. Do what I can, buddy. Alright, uh, fast travel station is here. We need to go over to CSEC. Maybe see about planting this bug.
think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. I'm not really sure where. Journal. Assignments. Near the back of CSEC. The control. Space control. This goes up to the Presidium, right? Yeah, so not there. Near the back. Like maybe that way? It might be that room upstairs. Ooh. Talking to an officer. Hello, Commander. Can't help you right now. Never mind. Must be up here. Okay. We have planted the bug. Codex pages. Now I gotta go back to the Citadel Tower and tell her we planted it. Presidium and Citadel. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Paragon for... All right. Oh, yeah. Meet with Nis Nisana. She's at the lounge in the Presidium. The Diplomat's Lounge, I believe. Let's go talk to her. Get that information. Uh, Presidium and Ward Embassies. Lounges back here. Wonder if it's that one woman that uh, you never really get a chance to talk to. Over here. Yep, it is. Commander Shepard, I am Masana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Hmm. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. 
Coming up at the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. Hmm. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. <sighs> you want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau cluster. Artemis Tau. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. I was back. just at the Artemis You shall be well rewarded. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the Shadow ransom. This else. couldn't make things any worse. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right I'll man for the job. Still a Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay, another mission. This place seems strange. A little more human. Check our journal. So all of these ones are things that have been that are, that are finished, right? The uh, like light purple colored ones are the ones that have finished. Okie dokie. Um, well, uh, I think this is probably going to be our natural stopping point for the stream because uh, we're going to be heading back out into space at this point. Um, so I'm going to uh, make my way back to the Normandy and we're going to be finishing up the night. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, what we could have happen uh, here in this stream. And I hope you come back for what can happen in the next stream. Are these leaves? Ah. Um, so anyway, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed today. And we'll be, we will be back next week. Uh, for those that maybe didn't get all the stream or uh, haven't caught up, you can check out the highlights that are going up every Wednesday morning uh, of these streams. That way you're all caught up for what comes next. So, And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for checking out this highlight. Remember, every Wednesday... 6 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. Streaming live. Alright? Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you back here for podcast tomorrow at 3 p.m. Bye-bye!